my website right now and download my free course on alternate picking mastery. It contains five essential exercises that will take you to alternate picking mastery faster than you can imagine. And then I've included my method of how to lay out a practice plan in just one to two minutes that will absolutely boost your results like nothing you ever tried before. So go download it right now. It's free. question from a guy who doesn't know where to land in the bar when he's soloing. It's like he says, I can't focus on the rhythm part and the notes and the music at the same time. So I kind of stumble, you know, and that's a really cool question because it shows me that you actually know what the problem is. And that's the problem for most people that when we don't know, you know, we can't seem to improvise and we wonder why and we say, oh, I need some, you know, better technique. I need some scales. I need some more arpeggios. Or how do I get to that place where I can really play something that sounds together? It's not a matter of any of those things. It's a matter of rhythm. Because if you just can, if you can, can do a couple of notes, right? Let's try to prove what I say here. Because if I go, and I have that running, then what determines whether or not I can sound like a pro? Is it the number of scales I use or the arpeggios or the licks or what? No, it's not. Right? It's rhythm. It's just the same three, you know, three or four notes I was playing, and everything I did was just mix them up rhythmically and bend and you know, do something about them, have vibrato, bang, bang, ba dun, 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 bang, bang, dun, dun, ba -da -dun, right? And so what you really need to know here is that your rhythm skills simply aren't, you know, at a high enough level. Um but because we think we can play stuff, right? We can play the notes and I have all these scale shapes and all this, th all these things down. But as long as your rhythm skills are lacking, then you can't use any of those at a high enough level, right? They, it's simply holding you back, really holding you back. So how do you mend that? Well, it's easy because learning rhythm is really such a small part of learning to play music and drummers are going to say, what are you serious? Or people who are struggle to learn, <laughs> struggling to learn rhythm right now. But it really is, you know, you know, on one side, when it comes to notes, you know, the note part of the equation, you have scales, arpeggios, and you got a lot of scale shapes and a lot of different scales and a lot of different arpeggios, you know, hundreds, like, it's amazing. And you got techniques on the other hand, like you're picking the notes, hammer-ons and pull-offs, legato sweep picking, directional picking, whatever you want to do, right? It pinch harmonics, influencing the notes with your pick and your uh, and everything, right? It's just amazing how much stuff there is in the soloing department only. We're not talking chords even right now. So, and then you go for the rhythm part. And that's basically a matter of having a beat in your body or the pulse in your body, and then being able to play any subdivision of the bar. Uh, you know, 16 notes, 16 note triplets, whatever. So go and go. So you have like a, like. And then you can, you know, the, that's, the, that's the metronome, right? And then the ability, I'm just trying to define what the rhythm skill really is. The ability to then go. You know, to playing any rhythm on top of that. And I'm tapping my foot right now at the same tempo here. Ba da 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 da. Yo triplets. Ba da 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 da. Ba da 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 da. I can't, you know, I can't sing or say the words as fast as I can pick them. But, but that's the basic skill. And when you have that in place, then suddenly you can take two notes and start having fun with with those. Where the hoot is my? I'm just gonna go get my stick again here. Another one. Sorry for the interruption. So what do you do about this? Well. The best thing, once you identify the problem, which is this very often, then the second thing is you, you figure out where you are. What can you actually play, right? Confidently. So if you have that running in the background, you know, uh, let me see. Then can you go, can you play the actual pulse, right? 
Can I play a solo that utilizes only quarter notes? You know, can I pl Can you do that? Can you? Is that your level? Figure out right now, right? Are you stumbling now when you improvise? Using the blue scales? I'm just using the B blue scale here. Or can you keep it going? Are you uncertain at any point? No? Okay. And let's try eighth notes then. And one and two and three and four. And it's the upstrokes, right? One and two and three and four and... Do you stumble now at that level of complexity? Okay, let's try like, uh, you know, let's try um, ba da da one two three one two three one two triplets, right? Ba da 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 da. Quarter notes again, right? And can you end on one again? Can you find your way back at this level? If, if you can't, then you have found the upper limit. And what if you can? Well, then you take something else. You can take a rhythm from a song. You can take a rhythm from a lick. Let's say it's ba da 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 right? And then go. And then have the rhythm in the background and then say. And have your foot, you know, have the pul pulse in your body as you do it. Can you go? Ba da 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 And then play some notes. And if this gets overwhelming at any point, if this goes above your head at any point, pull back and say, okay, back to simplicity. What can I do? All right? And then you know your upper limit of where you can go, and then you start practicing within that zone, putting notes to what you know rhythmically. And then you practice rhythm. How do you practice rhythm? Well, the, the best thing I can tell you is to challenge yourself. Simply, and rhythm again, the skill is being able to keep that pulse with your foot, because if you lose that ability as you have to clap or play or strum anything, then you're out of it. You don't have any idea what you're doing. So you need that pulse in your body. That's the rhythm skill keeping that pulse and then being able to do all kinds of things you know, with your hands uh, at different rhythms. But so that's the way to practice it. Pull back to the level where but there's no point in doing an exercise of improvisation at a level you can't do. You're just going to be frustrated say, I can't end. Where do I end in the bar? Well, it's, it's just too complex for you. You don't have the skills. And then a, a second point here, when it comes to rhythm, go for mastery. Because just think about it. I define mastery as being able to do something totally unconsciously almost, right? It's so easy that it's like breathing in and breathing out, like brushing your teeth or driving a car. You can do your total mastery there, right? You can do it and you can do other things as well. Think about stuff as you drive and, you know, um, so that's mastery. And just think about it. You need to do two things at once here. You need to both you know, pick the right notes, you need to, you know, and the arpeggios and scales and picking techniques and all kinds of, you know, and you have to focus on rhythm, which is not possible. The brain can only function and focus on one thing at a time. There is no such thing as multitasking. Women cannot multitask. What they can do is focus sequentially on one thing after another and then return to the first one again, focusing like that. Men are not very good at that, but nobody, <laughs> some men, nobody, can multitask. Nobody can focus on more than one thing at a time. That's why it's called focus, <laughs> right? For lens, focus, one thing. Uh, but so what you really need, you need mastery of rhythm. Once you have that foundation, baby, <laughs> it's like everything changes. So you need to constantly go around tapping stuff, playing stuff, you know, practicing a rhythm, uh, triplets, quadruplets, 
eighth notes, eighth note triplets, sixteenth note triplets, and just look into it, right? You go check out YouTube videos of, of these concepts here, and then take something with you that you can practice over and over and over and over again throughout the day, morning till you go to bed. I mean it. I mean tapping something constantly. If you play guitar and you want to become as good as you can be, or just have the most amount of fun playing, and you're not tapping something all day, then you're you're fooling yourself. You're kidding yourself. Get on with it, right? Rhythm must be mastered at the highest level, and that's really anyone can do that. Really, tapping all day. You can practice all day. When are you waiting for the bus? Talking to somebody else? You know, be that annoying person who's always, you know, <laughs> something going right. That nerd. That, you know. Be that guy and be it all day and, and relentlessly and then pick up something new all the time and you can practice. Then I promise you, then the scales, the notes, the bending, the everything else you learn, the rhythm guitar, the, the, the chords, it all falls into place because now you really have that professional foundation that makes anything you learn and turns anything you learn into music. Subscribe for more free videos. Do it. Do it now. Do it.